big coverage of the day's big stories. This is Wesh 2 News Sunrise with Scott Walker, Sion Rhodes, meteorologist Jason Brewer with your Wesh 2 Weather Plus forecast, Kimberly Williams with traffic, and Chopper 2 pilot Dan McCarthy, live from the only local news chopper in the morning. This is Wesh 2 News Sunrise in high definition. We're going in depth this morning with more on this case. We're joined now live by former police chief Richard Weinblatt, now a criminal justice professor at Seminole Community College. Dr. Weinblatt, what do you make of this new theory first, and how will this DNA evidence that we're waiting for the results of play into everything? Well, actually, um, from law enforcement perspective, it's not really a, a, a new theory per se. Uh, you know, it's something that's been floating around. Obviously, the Orange County Sheriff's Office is very good at this. They're not the new kids on the block. They've done these kind of cases for a long time, and they keep an open mind. And this is one of many theories they've been running down, but it's the most likely scenario, certainly based on my experience. Uh, and the DNA will help them tie up some loose ends and hopefully get uh, Casey to open up and just put this whole thing to rest. But Dr. Weinblatt, so far she has not opened up and even cutting off contact with her family. Why do you think she's doing that? I mean, they're saying she's doing it to protect Kaylee, but what else do you think could be behind that? Well, uh, you know, I, I, I think that she is trying to uh, protect herself, basically, and her attorney, uh, who is ethically bound to act in the best interest of his client, which is not Kaylee, it's Casey, the mother. Uh, he is probably advising her, as most attorneys should, uh, to keep quiet. Uh, you know, attorneys want to act in the best interest of their client, and that's what they're ethically bound to do. And, and that's they, what he's doing. And they want her to keep quiet because of those phone calls and all the other attention that this has drawn from the media. Does that kind of attention make it more difficult for investigators to do their job, or does it make it easier? Uh, I, I think it makes it a little more difficult from that perspective. Uh, you know, as investigators, and I had to wrestle with this as a police chief, even when we had the homicide to deal with, uh, is, you know, how do you get the information out to the public and work with the public because we need the public for tips, but also keep information back and not impair the integrity of the investigation. It's kind of a balancing act that you have to do. All right, and you're a former police chief. How would you handle this? What kind of questions would you ask Casey Anthony? Well, I think that they, you do just what uh, they did earlier when they confronted her in that conference room in Universal, uh, as they explained in the affidavit, and that they're trying to do now, which is to con confront her with the enormity of the case and the evidence and the tangled web that she weaved. Uh, I mean, it's been lie after lie, deception after deception. And a lot of times when you keep facing people with that, they finally get to a point where they're like, you know, enough is enough. I just need to come clean and, and end this. All right. That is Dr. Richard Weinblatt uh, with Seminole Community College. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. With big coverage of the day's big stories, this is West 2 News on CW18 in high definition. We are going in-depth on the Kelly Anthony case for you this morning. You are joined live this morning by former police chief Richard Weinblatt, now a criminal justice professor at the Seminole Community College. Dr. Weinblatt, good morning. Good morning. Uh, doctor, what do you make of this new theory that Kaylee might be dead, and how will the DNA evidence play into all this? Well, you know, what the Orange County Sheriff's Office has to do, and, and they're doing it, they're very good at this, it's not the new kids on the block here, is they're going to run down every theory. That's what investigators do, that's what I've done, uh, and it, it, it's a new theory, but it's not really a new theory. It's something that they keep an open mind, and they're running down all of these different leads. But I have to tell you, in my experience, it's usually not a good outcome when a child is missing this long. The DNA, in answer to your question, will help them because they can now present this to uh, Casey or her attorney, Mr. Baez, and hopefully pressure her to come clean after lie after lie after lie. And Dr. Weinblatt, do you think that there is a Zenaida Gonzalez? I highly doubt that. I mean, anything's possible, but uh, I highly doubt that, uh, you know, unfortunately, Casey does not have a lot of credibility because everything that she said has been proven uh, to be a deception, uh, to be an omission, to be a lie, and even many of her friends came out with an affidavit saying that she's a habitual liar. So her credibility really does not go in her favor with this. And Dr. Weinblatt, early on in this story, uh, Casey Anthony was talking to her brother Lee Anthony, her parents on a regular basis, but that's all changed right now. She's pretty much cut off contact with her family. What do you make of all that? Well, I think that she is uh, trying to protect herself. Um, I wish she'd try to protect Kaylee, but she's trying to protect herself. Uh, and her attorney is probably, as is his job, 
advising his client to be quiet because he's operating in the best interest of his client, not necessarily Kaylee. And that's the way attorneys uh, work ethically. And do you feel as though the family, from what you can tell, has been forthcoming? Um, when I say the family, I mean Cindy, Anthony, George, her, the, her husband, uh, the parents of Casey. Do you think they've been forthcoming from what you can hear and f from what you can tell? Uh, I, I think they're cooperating more now with the investigators because I think they realize that uh, they don't have other places to turn and that the investigators are the professionals. Uh, I was a little distressed to see them handling their own investigation in the beginning. Uh, particularly given the fact that uh, the grandfather, George, is a former deputy sheriff from Ohio, so you would think that he would know that these are the folks that need to put all the pieces of the puzzle together. All right. Thank you so much, Dr. Blind, but we appreciate you. you giving your expertise on this case. Of course, we will continue to cover this case. You can always count on West True News and CW18 for the developments in, the li in any break in this case. Of course, we will be bringing you in-depth reporting, and as always, continues on West.com.